I have my favorite tool, which is X Tiles, where I like to organize all of my thoughts and my design. So it's a really great tool that does all of it in one central location. I don't have to go to a bunch of different places. I also don't have to figure out a really hard programming. I simply drag and drop and there it is. It's really important if you love X Tiles like I do, they're actually on Product Hunt today. They're there today through the 25th. So if you are watching this when this goes live, you can go ahead and take advantage of that deal. I will leave a link for that below as well. And let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Tuesday. Now, if you love X Tiles, which I do, or you're just looking for a tool, I think it is far better than Trello, way superior than any of the other apps like Evernote um, to put all your ideas together. I do have another video and it also has its own template as well. I'll leave a link to that too. All right, so you're going to go into xtiles.app and I did leave a link below. And remember, they do have, you can see the deal is going on on Product Hunt. Um, but once you're in xtiles, what you're going to do is you're gonna go over here to your personal space. If you go over here to share, these are documents that someone else has shared with you and I will share today's document with you. And then over here we have recent and then over here you can create your own workspaces and as you can see i have sticker illustration ideas over here so i really like cat stickers so let's go ahead and just open up my cat stickers now what i love about x tiles is it will do things that other apps will not one it will save wep bp files which are like what is that right so when i download a wep p i can't even say a webp file it will upload it I can guarantee you absolutely nobody else will accept this. Even Adobe, when I try to upload a WebP file, does not like these. So this is pretty amazing that it likes it. Now you can give it a little title and I will say, um, I mean, they're all cute cats, but cute cats in action, right? They're in a box, one is reading a book, um, so they're doing cute things. Uh, another thing is you can just upload your JPEGs that you want over here too. So the nice thing as well is you'll see that the images will expand or contract to whatever size you want. So if I wanted to see more of this, I could just make this box bigger. If I wanted to see less of this, I can make that box smaller. So you get to control what you see and don't see on here. Here is some Halloween kittens that I really liked and I thought these were cute. So let's give these more cats in action. And over here, we're gonna call these Halloween cats. Um, now, if I wanna pull something from a site, because maybe I'm going to make some cat stickers, but I want to make sure that my cat stickers have the right licensing on them to allow, we, allow me to make stickers, I could go over here and first of all, I could check the licensing, but let's say I checked it, everything is okay. I can go ahead and copy this entire link so that I have it for when I want to purchase this later. And then I can just jump in here and I can just go ahead and paste that link. So now I don't have to worry anymore about like looking it up, trying to find it, and it gives me a little preview over here. So I can just say uh, extended licenses, clip arts, uh, clip art that I like. So that way when I'm ready to purchase, I can just go ahead, I click this link, it brings me right to that page. I don't have to search for it anymore. So that's something really nice. Now it can obviously do video. We probably don't need video for this particular project, but it's there if we need it. So maybe I have a video of a cat illustration. So maybe I'm gonna pull out my iPad and I'm actually going to try to draw my own art. So this video looks pretty good, how to draw a basic cat. This one has three and a half million. So what I can do is I can go ahead and I can hit that share button. I can copy that, head back over here and I can add a whole new section. All I have to do is drag and drop. It's just that easy. Um, and I don't even have to choose any of these. I can just click inside of here, paste that and it's done. Same thing with, what was it else? There was another video I liked um, over here, how to draw a cat step by step. And I can do the same thing. I can share this, I can copy it and I can drop it here. Now here's something else that's really cool about videos. So one, I don't have to go back 
out to um, YouTube to watch this. I, I muted this, but the sound will play just fine. Um, there you go. So we could actually just watch this video from inside of Xtile. So I don't have to go out. I can do all my research right here in one spot. Same thing, this video, I can just hit play. And again, I've muted it, but I can just go ahead and watch whatever I want inside of here while also looking around at all of the other links and the other things that I've left for inspiration. And the nice part too, now it gets even better, I can take this over here, I can make a new tile over here, and I can say notes on drawing. So now while I'm watching this on the left-hand side, I can actually take notes. Um, draw the eyes first and then uh, draw the whiskers next. That probably is not the right order, but it is so easy to do two things. One, this gives you multitasking in a window without having to open up multiple windows, right? So a lot of times you have a tablet or you have to have a, a big screen or something like that. This will just do everything for you. You don't have to rearrange things. You don't have to resize them. It's already done for you here inside of Xtiles and I can make this bigger or smaller depending on how much screen space I have available. Let's say I also wanna make stickers about dogs. So I can come up here, I can hit that plus sign and I can say dogs, and now I have a brand new tab for dogs. So I this can just keep going on and on. I can make another tab, maybe um, baby foxes. I do watch a lot of those on YouTube videos. I think they're adorable. Um, so I can make all of these. Now, originally I said we were going to make stickers for the months, so I could easily make a new tab here for January. I could make a new tab for February, if I spell that correctly and I could make one for March. So really all of my sticker ideas and my brainstorming, all of my creative power can be all contained in one area and with just a couple different tabs. So again, I don't have to save a bunch of bookmarks and I can save different media, right? I can save videos, I can save images, I can save text, I can save websites. I can make a database out of this, but this project, we just wanted to create ideas and get some brainstorming and find different places where we could start making all of our stickers. So very excited about Xtiles for helping you with brainstorming for sticker ideas. And honestly, I know that they have whiteboards out there. I find this a thousand times easier to use than the whiteboards because I can just come in here, I can resize it. I don't have to know anything technical. I don't have to try to do anything else. You know, this also creates those hierarchy lists. I won't repeat it because we I had the other video that walked you through all of the basic features of Xtiles, but just wanted to share this with you again and put this on your radar because it is still my number one favorite product in terms of brainstorming. And you can definitely have this if you wanna make cat stickers, um, just to get a sense of how this file is set up. And I will leave that link for you below, as well as the link for the, the special deal that they have on Product Hunt today. All right, I hope everyone's having a fabulous and wonderful day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.